Hey, what's up guys? Marty back for another Let's Play here at the Nintendo Dads YouTube channel. And we're going to be checking out Ukulele, one of the most hottest anticipated uh, indie games within the last couple of years. Uh, particularly because it was developed by Playtonic Games, which is a collection of former Rare employees who worked on games like Banjo-Kazooie and Conker's Bad Fur Day and Donkey Kong 64. And so if you've played any of those games, I'll say this on the front end, you know what to expect. Uh, Ukulele is a 3D action platformer collect-a-thon in the vein of Banjo-Kazooie. And uh, I would say it does a fairly good job of capturing the spirit of those games. And so if you don't like those games, then you're not going to like Ukulele. But if you do like those games, there is a lot here for you. And I, and I have to be honest that I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised by this game when I began to play it. Uh, of course, Ukulele has been out on other platforms for a long time. It just debuted on the Nintendo Switch on the 14th of December. And they... The, the developers basically said that this was the definitive version of ukulele. It had lots of optimizations to all kinds of parts of the game. And it's fairly easy to see that there is a large amount of love that has been put into ukulele. Uh, and particularly in the area of, of just that it looks gorgeous. It sounds fantastic. It does a great job of capturing the, the, the feel of those old uh, Nintendo 64 games. that uh, And it just has a great script and great writing, great sense of humor. Uh, in fact, there's there's not a lot of bad I can say about this game other than the fact that if you don't like Collect-A-Thon 3D platformers, you're not going to like this game. However, if you do like them, then let's begin. There's lots to do here. Uh, we are in Tribal Stack. What was the name of this place? <laughs> That's terrible. I can't think of it. It is... Uh... Be able to tell me here. Nope, it doesn't. But uh, I do want to point out something here. Uh, this is actually the first area of the game, actually, that you're able to unlock from inside the uh, the Hivery Tower, which is kind of the the main uh, place the villain is, but also where the main action of the game takes place. It's kind of the hub world, and so uh, this is Tribal Stack Terror, and you can see just by pausing it the amount of collectibles in this game. There's pages at the top. There's feathers in the top right-hand corner. There's five ghosts to find. There's a, a play coin. There's butterflies. There's lightning bolts and molecules and moves to get and all kinds of other stuff like that. Uh, and when you unlock one of these books, at first you will see a, a very limited area, okay? Uh, but that that is that doesn't stay that way because as you find more pages, as they're called, as you find more pages, you're able to unlock the world and make it bigger because you're adding pages to the game, right? Am I supposed to jump on this? Nope, I'm, I'm not supposed to jump on that. Well. And, and here's the thing about ukulele. There is a lot to figure out in this game on your own. Nope. Oh, there it is. So each platform has to be... Oh, no. Not each platform has to be awakened. That's good. But the question is, what am I doing here? What did I do? Did I, oh, I unlocked that platform. Then I've got to time just right to get to you. Yay, a pagey in a KG. So now I have unlocked the book and I have five pages. And I have this ghost here who you can somehow get, but it doesn't. And that's the thing about this game. It doesn't tell you how to get all the things. When you, when you show up to a task and you can't get it, you just can't get it. Does that make sense? I don't know. But I do know that within the first 15 minutes of playing the game, I was introduced to about six or seven things that I needed to collect throughout the game. So if you, again, if that's not your bag, then uh, stay away, my friend. And there will be parts where you have, um, you know, different 
moves and things that you go unlock in different areas and you can't do things in this area until you go to those new areas and unlock them. So it's very easy to get frustrated by that, but don't get frustrated. Just enjoy the game. Enjoy. In fact, it's one of the best looking games, I think, for Nintendo Switch. From an indie developer. Even some of our... some Even some third-party games that aren't indie developers don't look this good. So... It runs smoothly. The only thing that I would say is that the camera control, it feels kind of loose. And at times it can be way too zoomed in on Yuka and Laylee. So it's hard to know what's going on, but... Um, Hey, Mario 64, anybody? Right, so we're going to go back to Hyvory Tower and we're going to hunt down a new book. See if we can find a new area in the game. And that's, uh, there's a little thing about Dr. Puzz. Dr. Puzz uh, is a uh, mad scientist who will transform you and then tribal stack uh, terror there. It, uh, you, you got turned into a, uh, a plant that used its pheromones to wake up other plants to get a pagey. I don't know how many pages are in the game. I, I think I heard that there'll be that there's something like over 200. So plenty to do, lots to find here in this game. Hmm. I don't know if I'm supposed to be going here or not. We'll see, right? Obviously, that's probably meant to shatter later. But not right now. For now, let's go find another book, if we can. Interesting, it spells pagey, but it's all in. Not really showing you how to do that. There's a sign to level two, which is apparently a frozen one, right? Right. Yes, I would love to go to Tony Tony. Why it's not burning up? Nobody knows. It's the easy these helpful signs, right? And you have to roll to go up uh, hills. In case you were wondering. Apparently I didn't level enough. And 
and that was a move you had to buy in the Aztec world or in the tribal stack world. So you wouldn't have been able to get in there until then anyway. Capital B's office. So Capital B is the uh, boss of the game, uh, apparently. And then you have Dr. Quack, who is a a duck in some kind of robot suit. So the basic storyline of the game is that there's a magical book with golden pages and these guys know about it and the you know apparently you can Lely didn't and so they suck up all the books in the world to be able to get to this which kind of makes no sense but it, whatever right if you'd like to imagine that on the other side of that TV is King K. Rool because I mean what has he been doing in the last few years I, I would kind of like some backstory to find out what happened to Dr. Quack. You know, I don't, who knows? Or why there's a giant bee in charge of this corporation. So apparently we'll be going, oh, it's quiz time. Fantastic. So if you like this game, you can find more of Ukulele on the Nintendo eShop. It is not physical release yet, uh, if at all. But uh, it comes at a pretty st uh, steep or hefty price tag at $39.99, which is almost a, a full third-party or first-party game, uh, given that this is an indie. Uh, and it is arriving late on the eShop. And so there are some, uh, you know, some great things about this game. If you're, in, again, I've said this many times, if you're into collect-a-thon type games, if you're into large hub world style 3d games with platforming elements then you're going to like this game if you don't like those things then i will go ahead and tell you stay away from this game because it will overwhelm you with the amount of collectibles and things that it asks you to get even to move forward into basic areas of the game however if you do like those things then this is going to charm you you're going to love it and as our good friend uh, jacob rush from nintendo nostalgia uh says it's it's a game that everybody should play uh, and I think it was top of his Christmas list. And so shout out to Jacob. I hope that you are enjoying ukulele uh, still. He probably beat it like the first day he had it. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> uh, for Justin, for Zach, for Jesse and Marty uh, here at Nintendo Dads, keep watching our videos here on YouTube. Also check us out on iTunes at Google Play or on iTunes, Google Play and Stitcher for our weekly podcast. Check us out on Twitter, all kinds of social media. We would love to interact with you and hang out. And you can also go over to uh, patreon.com backslash Nintendo Dads to change the world one vote at a time or one dollar at a time by supporting all the things that we do. 
Thanks, guys, for watching this video. Keep checking us out over here at YouTube and on our podcast. Bye-bye.